Legend when Rooney has been married to his wife Colin Rooney for 15 years or more. I hope not or so. But what really has been going on between these two uh, married couple? Do they fight? Do they argue? What really also has been sustaining their marriage for 15 years now? Find out in this interesting report we have for you. This is the Change Shopping Axe News. We always do appreciate the subscription that um, keeps coming. Join today's episode, of course. Let's get interested and, of course, interactive over here. So we're going to give you some, uh, you know, tips from the camp of Wayne Rooney and his wife, you know, who seem to be uh, giving us some tips a bit in, uh, you know, the marriage. And, of course, we do love it. So let's find out what their secret really is. Now, first, they say, uh, forgive that never forget. Now, Colin is the first, uh, you know, to admit Wayne has tested her wifely patient uh, to its max over the years, particularly in regards to his various cheating escapades. Now, speaking after he had been, uh, was charged with uh, drink driving after being stopped by police with fellow party uh, go out Laura Simpson in 2017. The man of four uh, said she could forgive but would never forget. Now, according to her, she says forgiveness, I'd say, is different. She said in a Rooney uh, documentary, it's not acceptable uh, what he's done, but it's happened. And that was a stage of life that we were in at the time. But we've moved on. Now, point number two. So if you're a married couple over there, just jot these points down coming in from these two married couple who seem to be giving some advice. Money is in everything, despite the Rooney's having a global property a portfolio and uh, reportedly being worth upwards of a staggering 100 million euros. Now, the couple maintain that cash isn't uh, what makes your family content. Not everything uh, in our life is money-related, Colin apparently once explained some time back. Now, it says that people think when you, are, when you earn a lot of money, everything is fine. Yes, there are advantages, but this isn't everything in life, uh, you know, and it doesn't always make people happy. So this is another point you have to put down. And it seems to be working for them. Now, number three, they said, trust your family. Now, growing up, Colin was in, um, incredibly uh, close to her boxing gym manager, dad, Tony McLingan, and part-time cleaner, mom, uh, called. Now, given their bond, it's no surprise she sought comfort uh, back in the arms of her parents during uh, the most difficult times in her marriage. Obviously, I listen to the people uh, that matter to me. My mom and my dad always give me a positive outlook on things. Uh, she apparently revealed uh, in the Amazon uh, Prime documentary. And she apparently also said, or not, she continued to say that there's nothing that we can't deal with. And there's, uh, that's my way in the situation. Let's sit down and see what we can do and can, uh, make out, uh, uh, can we make it work. And we have. So... Point number one, uh, they did say uh, that forgive but never forget. Point number two, also they did say uh, that money isn't everything. Then point number three, uh, they're telling us that trust the family and trust your family. And of course, let's move on to see what number four means. Now, number four, it says and never forget where you came from. Hmm, interesting. Now, I've always been the girl uh, from Liverpool, uh, but my life has changed in so many ways, Colin apparently explained. And despite spending uh, my early married years jetting all over the world on exotic holidays, both she and Wayne have never forgotten their strong Liverpool roots and never taken uh, you know, their good fortune for granted. Now, sometimes Rain will sit there and say, I can't believe it. Colin apparently wrote in an autobiography, uh, you know, which of course, Welcome to My World was the biography, uh, the title of the biography. But you don't take it for granted if either of us did we would say something interesting point over there so you can jot it down now point number five uh be persistent now f uh, well i'm really learning so much about this couple anyway but i'm getting tired with the points honestly anyways that so is this what really uh they've been practicing all this while okay now so point number five it says be persistent now footballing is uh, uh wayne rooney was known as a determined player 
on the pitch, and it's clearly a treat that helped him uh, win over his childhood heartbreak or uh, sweetheart. Uh, you know, in a conversation, he did say, I knew that I wanted to go out with her, wanted to marry her, when apparently recalled uh, in an Amazon Prime documentary and continued to say that I said to her uh, at the time when we grow up, we're going to get married. And you're going to have my uh, my kids. Now, according to Colin, uh, you know who was just 12 years uh, when she first met uh, Wayne. She was initially worried, uh, you know, of accepting uh, his later request for a date, but he refused uh, to take no for an answer. The rest is now history. So be persistent. If you're loving someone, you know you, this person is your crush. Just be persistent. And that is what really is working for Wayne Rooney and Colin. Now, moving on to point number six. I hope you guys are jotting something down. It could help you in your marriage. You may not know. It says, surround yourself with good people as a testament, uh, you know, to their lack of celebrity. Oh, goodness. I, I love I love this point. It says, surround yourself with good people. Now, as testament to their lack of celebrity egos, Colin and, uh, you know, Warren have remained incredibly close to many of the childhood friends uh, they had as youngsters. Now, people are everything, and people are what make me uh, the happiest in life, Colin apparently revealed. Now, Williams' cousin, Claire Rooney, has also uh, been Colin's boy, uh, best friend since uh, the pair were small, and the bond has always been a very long-lasting one. Now, we surround ourselves with friends and family uh, who are genuine, uh, kind, and caring people. She apparently did review uh, some time back in an interview now point number seven it says that do to others what you would want others to do to you hmm interesting point over this so apparently when Ronnie should do uh to call in what she also uh what uh, you know what well whatever Let's get on to this. Now, Colin's strong religious faith and moral compass uh, have helped guide throughout her life, and she's keen uh, to pass those on to her own boys. Now, paraphrasing the Bible verses, Colin apparently explains that, I always say to my children, don't do or say uh, to others what you wouldn't uh, like uh, others to say or do to you. Now, this is an interesting point you also would have to put over there. Now, moving on to point number eight, make your own money. Now, this is very important. Now, this is something of, I mean, everyone must pay attention to. Make your own money. And I do love this point. Mm. Now, I wouldn't even stretch so much about this. Uh, well, let me, maybe I could just uh, get you some highlights over here. Now, while some of today's footballers, uh, you know, wage or peer content living off their uh, other halves, now Colin has been incredibly savvy uh, with her profile, now ensuring that she has financial security with, uh, with or without Wayne Rooney. Now, she's rumored to be worth around 14 million euros accumulated through uh, a number of lucrative contracts and other ventures such as her SS, uh, exercise DVD and four books fashion exercise. Now, in 2008, uh, we did see uh, these two having some very interesting, uh, beautiful gesture together, unveiling uh, their new business. So make your own money, and we hope that you also have jotted some points down. So these really seem to be working for Wayne Rooney and... Uh, you know, her, uh, his has, uh, wife, I should say, and I'm super, super happy for them. What well, this has me is literally so News. Thanks for watching.